And what are they saying? When a dog barks three times, is he really communicating? Or is he hoping to get praise or even food for his actions? And what about dolphins? Are their squeaks and whistles really communication? Or are they just noises? Scientists have thought for a long time that dolphins have their own language and can talk among themselves. But is it possible for them to communicate with us? Denise Herzing is a biologist with the Wild Dolphin Project in Jupiter, Florida. She has studied the animals for over 20 years. Her latest work involves creating a language that both dolphins and humans can understand. Members of her team lower a keyboard into the water. Then a diver pushes one of the keys to show the dolphin how it works. When the key is pushed, someone above the water throws a ball to the diver. At the same time, a high-frequency whistle is produced. The sound is something that the dolphin can hear and also make. The dolphin then learns that to get the ball, it can either push the key or make the whistle sound. The result is real communication between an animal and a human. Ms. Herzing found that young female dolphins like to play this game the most. Young males were not as interested. Another thing she learned was that dolphins played the game best after being introduced to humans. Divers first swim with the dolphins in slow, easy movements. They look directly at its eyes. If a dolphin swims one way, the diver does what the dolphin does. After a while, the dolphins become friendly and are ready to play the language game. At the Dolphin Institute in Hawaii, scientists have taught dolphins hundreds of words. They use hand and body movements and pictures to teach the dolphins. They found that dolphins could learn the difference between a statement and a question. And they learned that changing the order of words in a sentence can change the meaning. Scientists at the SETI Institute in California are also interested in communicating with animals. Their job is to listen to sounds coming from outer space that might be signs of life. If they were to find distant life forms, how would they communicate with them? They think using a language like dolphin talk may be the answer. <laughs>